I thought of a whole lot of other things I wanted to say about law and stuff. I'm, I'm not really... I'm interested in law in a kind of abstract way, but I'm really not interested in, 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 in my case or trying to get... I'm not even interested in... in I thought maybe it, some sort of legal action is what would be necessary to to get people off my back so that I could get on with my life. I got a lot of better things to think about than people's lies and 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 stupid things that people might have done. It, I wanted to get on with stuff. I want to do creative stuff. I I don't want to. Um, it's be a complete waste of time to just to, to be sitting down talking with lawyers. I don't want anything to do with that shit. But it, I don't know. I don't know what's happened. Has it got to the point where legal actions become more of a more of an the threat of legal actions become more of an impediment to me than because I just thought it would be a way to get people to back off you know say look let me get on with my life or I'm gonna sue you but uh, that was a kind of idle threat because I, I don't have the, the time or the will or the interest in, in do, actually doing that um, Maybe maybe people figured that out and thought, well, we can carry on fucking him over. Um, maybe nobody was fucking me over. I don't know. It's it just feels like it. It's so hard to get enough cooperation for people to do creative, decent stuff. That I'm assuming that there's there are people behind the scenes trying to wiggle out of something that they, they're in. Um, if they think they're in it, then they're probably in it, you know, it's... But I'm not interested. Uh, what on earth Bill Gates is doing with his one-man traveling circus all over the world talking crap, I, I really don't know. It's... Uh, and Boris Johnson, my God. Adam Schiff. I, don't, I just don't understand why this is a problem for anybody. It's beyond me. There's so much better stuff to do for so many people. It's just incredible. I tried the mic out. It, I tried. I listened to it, and it's it's good. It, it doesn't suffer from any wind noise, really. I just want to talk to people and, and get a computer and be able to show people stuff on, you know, on, on projectors if necessary or on screens of computers if necessary or whatever. I just want the space to do it. And like that cafe has a screen in it. But it's kind of all wound up with Samsung and YouTube and stuff and I, I don't know if you can use that as a... As a you know, as a screen. If there are a group of you in the cafe that want to use the screen, I don't know if there's any way you can actually do it. There ought to be. It seems to me there ought to be. So much stuff we could do so quickly and so easily. If only, if only, I don't know, if only people would listen to me. I got, I watched that, it's, it's a lovely video about that guy making the microphone, but I got he's so much detail and so much time. Um, boy, I, I, I don't have time to make one of those microphones. Um, I'd, I'd rather spend $500 on, a, on another mic than, than make one. I mean, that, that seems to me like a, a way of... Uh, 
that would be a waste of my time. It's nice to see how much you can do with just a workshop, but you know, he's he's got he can buy things like a kitchen blowtorch. Presume that's for crystallizing sugar in or something. I don't know what that's for. All this stuff, all this stuff you can consume. And this micro share dealing stuff, oh, I don't know. That. Anyone with a British accent talks about finance, I immediately think that somebody's trying to rip me off. It sounded like bullshit to me. The whole, he, he just fell apart completely at that point. Really classy video, really classy presentation, everything in it. It's, that's sort of, British. In the end of it, the aim is to get you to get into banking. I mean, what's interesting about that with the techniques for polishing and soldering brass and stuff like that, that's, that's worth knowing, but you don't want to be employing hundreds of people to do that. No, you, you want to you want to kind of use that information in making machines to do it. You think about those aspects of craftsmanship when you're designing robots so that you make sure that your robots are able to do stuff like that if that's the sort of stuff you want to do. You don't want people employed doing stuff like that. Otherwise, we're back to pre-industrial revolution. We need good robotics, real robotics. I'm not trying to set the world up so that it, you know, leaves all the power in the hands of people who abuse it. That's the thing I wanted to say. I think that'll do. Let's see if something else comes up again. Turn it off for now.